It, it's funny because it's been a while since I've worn a skirt or a dress. Mm. I liked it. I had a lot of fun. Like, I think you could tell I was just having, like, a silly good time. The combination of the long turtleneck and like the t-shirt layered on top and I was like wait I feel like like almost like a kid again a little bit so I was leaning a lot into that red and black are some of my favorite colors so I was like <laughs> thrilled with that hat the like P.S. Doris's Tom like I think it changed the vibe of the outfit but also was something that I just had a lot of fun mm -hmm. with it's interesting because again, the layering and the jewelry and just the way that the outfit ended up being put together reminded me almost of like scene kids, or emo kid, which I was very much growing up. So it's like it felt familiar and then adding the glove and the hat and all the accessories on top, I think made it veer into like costume territory. But at the end of the day, I was like, oh, I know this. Like I, I've been this kid. I did go into this witchy territory, but I, I think it just kind of took me in the direction of silliness and whimsy if a witch was a kid it's just trying to embody seeing like fun and playfulness more than anything like creepy mystical i knew i wanted to do a halloween episode so with that i already knew whatever outfit i wanted i wanted it to either be reflective of a costume and or themes associated with halloween when i started brainstorming the styling i started out with a dress that was the first piece that i wanted and pretty much based the rest of the elements off of because i like to work with what i have and i knew that this dress is probably one of the most extravagant dresses that i have but also particularly because it's black and it's red. I associate those colors with a little bit of spookiness, some emo-ness. The dress was for my sister's grade 8 grad. My mom and my sister went to Peach Berserk to pick it out. I imagine she picked it because it's black and red and she was like peak emo phase. The silver print on the dress are pictures of Mao Zedong. I know that I have no attachment to Mao Zedong, but the dress is fabulous. It would be like a witchy dress. So I went and sourced the hat. What if I put fringe on the brim of the hat? Because in thinking of what hats to put on the outfit, I have like a cowboy hat that's red, but it's not really the vibe. So I was like combining cowboy ness with the fringe with the witch's hat. In preparing this outfit, I just took the opportunity to have fun kind of constructing it, adding the embellishments on the club, the fringe to the hat. It wasn't until I saw Theo wearing everything and having fun with it that I'm like, wow, this is a very movement conducive outfit. And I loved it because the dress, the fringe flares out like it was so great. I really liked stacking the belts too but I can for sure say I was inspired by Jojo because particularly Jotaro and the MCR shirt I was expecting the dress to just reveal the hand graphic but obviously the rest of it went with the outfit. Definitely gives emo vibes and the fringe on the hat too kind of looks like hair. Midwestern emo kid goes to witch school. Emo hag. <laughs>